Hey, welcome again to another episode of Comics 2000. This episode is Max Andersen from Sweden. It looks like this. And there's a lot of wild things going on in this story. It's eight pages. It's uh, various grid systems. And it involves some characters he'd been working with for five or six years. So let's take a look. So here we go. It's page one, and he introduces us to this sort of truck girl character, and she looks a lot like uh, Nancy from Ernie Bushmiller. You can tell an old-school cartoonist because they throw in a Nancy reference. And in panel two, she sees this tail under a, a building, and it wiggles, and she's freaked out a little bit. But in arrives forklift-looking fella, boy and they look at the tail together and now we're on page two and forklift boy sort of lifts the whole building up and all of these squashed characters come running out these dogs and other look little just weird squashed characters and the last thing that comes out is this like big flattened carpet looking dog thing and the uh, truck girl sort of gives it a hug and meanwhile the forklift boy and trucker will watch the rest of the building just sort of sink back into the ground. And that's the end of page two. Page three, the thing finishes collapsing into the ground, and then it's all done. And in arrive this sort of uh, uh, wrecking ball girl and this sort of steamroller girl. I think steamroller's a girl. And they finish off the building by wrecking the the corner that's still up in the air and steamrolling over it with the help of the uh, truck girl here. And so now there's like no sign of it. They're all happy, they're holding hands, and the rest of that building is basically sunk underground. And off walks truck girl and the sort of squashed dog creature follows behind, leaving this sort of trail of slime or juice or something. And now we're on page four. and. They arrive at Truck Girl's shack. She's happily using the flattened dog as a blanket. And now the cops are out there in the moonlight trying to investigate the situation. They've got their dogs. And they notice this trail of slime or water or juice or whatever, and it leads to the shack that we've seen, everything pointing to it. And now we're on page five, and we see a corner of the cops and the dogs running off, but we also see the uh, wrecking ball girl and the steamroller girl noticing. So they get on the phone, and presumably they're telling truck girl. And now we see truck girl hiding from the cops. The cops come into the shack, and they step on the flattened dog thing who's all squishy and gross, and they run off, and the dog barks at them. And now we're on page six. And they're sort of like, hands are up. They don't know what to do. They make their way over to a laundromat. Meanwhile, we cut to Steamroller Girl, who comes downstairs, thanks to this crane character. Crane boy, we'll call him. And meanwhile, the dogs are in the laundromat, flattening out one of their dogs. And then it seems like they've flattened out the other dog, too. And so now they're off in the opposite direction with their flattened dogs. Now we're on to page seven. And so the two flattened dogs make their way to the shack and they approach. And I think we're seeing the, our first flattened dog here. Now we see a cop shoe here stepping on a flattened dog or is it suddenly the squishiness under his shoe is turning into a flattened dog? I, I honestly don't know. But that dog seems to be barking or something, announcing itself to those other three. The other, uh, the main dog, the first dog we've seen, runs off, chasing the, the cop, biting the cop's leg off, and thus saving that, that tiny dog, I suppose. Ugh, page eight. The leg is off, it's bleeding. Ugh, there's the shoe. All the... Boys and girls are now 
coming to the rescue of Truck Girl, and one of the characters takes off a spare tire off of this sort of spare, this like round Volkswagen character, and they take that spare tire, they put it on the cop's leg. The cop character takes Truck Girl in hand, and all is happy and said and done, and that seems to be the end. The end. And there you have it. Another uh, story by Max Andersen um, from Sweden, I believe. And I think he was living in Berlin at the time. And you can see from his website, he's done tons of comics and tons of films, too. And lots with uh, these characters. Here he is um, building a cityscape. Um, here are some examples of those squashed dogs in another media. I think they're done, you know, maybe with fur and felt and things. Here they are all over a ceiling in some sort of art gallery. Here's a couple pages of other examples that he's worked with that truck girl and um, some of those other characters. Here he is painting truck girl on a giant wall and that um, and one of those boy characters. And so we see Anderson is one of these artists who just works in many media with lots of continuing characters and things that have bubbled up from his subconscious and helps him give voice to his ideas and, and respond to the universe around him. This is really exciting stuff from a really prolific artist, and I encourage you to go see his films on his website.